Hi guys, it's 3rd of March and for today's video, I'll be showing you what's in flower buds and in blooms in my Cacti and Succulents collection. So yeah, I'm here inside my greenhouse. I was checking them and as I inspect closer, I noticed that some of them are already forming buds. Yay! I'm so excited. I thought they won't flower, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this um, Ruchi I hear will be the first ones to flower but no they they don't have any flower buds yet but this um mihanovichia and pride richia here most of them except this um agua dulce and then the rest there they're all having flower buds now look at that has tiny flower buds there now as well as the other mihanovichia there they all have flower buds oh that's exciting and then that guys the other gymnos that has a um flower buds is this one as you can see in there in the middle under the <laughs> seed pod under the fruit and then on that one ooh, that one as well look at that oh this one doesn't have any flower buds but i just wanted to show this one because look at that it's so flat now before it was you know sticking out in there from the pot but look but it's so pretty Look at that it's so flat now so that's the result of six months no watering they are not as flat as last year that one is not too flat this one is flat as well but not as flat as before then this one also forming flower buds can you see that guys it's not in the middle you see the flower buds is not in the middle it's there see that guys Oop, there and there and then valdianum here look at that flower buds in there quite big now and then look at that but this anisitsi i don't think this two fl big flower there will open because they've been there for last for a long time yeah but those two there in the middle are new ones so i think the two little ones will grow but these two big ones i don't know and then this one there new bud, flower buds in the middle and that baldianum there as well oh it's not a baldianum it's damsii so that one and that one i bought them from tesco i think so they're going three years now or already three years they grown big now yeah flower buds there and then this look at that this is this was a um grafted the gymno before this was a moon cactus but the rootstock died so i was able to save this scion so yeah yeah it developed fruits and yeah it's happy there now it's forming flower buds even last year it flowered for me as well and then the other gymnos with flower buds as you can see there that baldianum there and that one there i don't know if that one will grow oh there's two i thought there's only one so that's the new one there i don't know guys you can see it but there in the middle okay there's two flower buds this aloe here aloe humili humilis humilis <laughs> yeah look at that oh it's so nice then this beautiful gastrolea <laughs> oh look at that it's so pretty okay and then <clears throat> on my mommy larias i don't know if you can see it this is a uh, is spinosissima and yeah you can see that there's new pink there that's new guys that's not an old flower from before because i'm always inspecting them and then this one already has flower buds as well i don't know if you can see it guys but yeah in between those i don't know but yeah there is there are flower buds there now okay there you can see it looks different okay and then the bigger one there is flower buds there as well <laughs> oh it's so hard to see but yeah i saw it guy. i can see it guys it's just the you know just 
so hard to see. But um, yeah, I'll just show it to you guys when the flower buds go bigger. This is the newest Mamillaria, my collection. And yeah, I didn't change the soil because it's already winter. Yeah, it's winter when I bought this. So I don't, I didn't change the soil. I'm afraid to, you know, up uproot it. But yeah, so that those are the dead flowers from last year. And when I was inspecting it, because this was inside the house, and then I, yeah, there's no flower buds. But when I turned it, ta da! There's a flower buds. Look at that, guys. Don't move. Look, guys, can you see that? Yeah. Those are the flower buds forming now. Ooh, but it's just on one side, only here. Nothing at the back. Maybe because this was um by the door, the side, um facing the door. So yeah. So maybe that's why the flower buds just growing on this side. So I decided to move it here inside the greenhouse, so it can receive more light and hopefully will develop more flower buds behind and then the others with flower buds or flowers stuck in there look at that it's some spider web <laughs> yeah i don't want to clean it yet let the spider live there for a while while well, i'm not watering them yet so yeah let the spider live there and do their thing there it's all right and they're all so thirsty, look at that, but they'll be okay once I water, and yeah, there's more, more, more babies now, and the baby of that one also developing a flower stalk, and there's two there, and then two there, Oh, that's the photo there on the screen, guys, last year's flowers, this one, guys, developing flower stalk as well, look at that, oh, lovely, So, yeah, those are the ones with flower buds here inside the greenhouse. Oh, look at this one, guys. It doesn't have flower buds, but yeah, it's so pretty. Look at the color. Oh, I didn't water that for six months as well. Almost six months. And then, guys, before I show you the cactus flower for today, let me show you this. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, so lovely. Oh, daffodils. Yeah, and this one it just looks pretty then guys the first two leaves of 2021 yay oh look at that guys so this is the second year of these two leaves last year they flowered for me and yeah this year they came back so if you love tulips guys watch out for my um videos that i'll be uploading springtime because i've got loads of tulips different colors different varieties so. hey so that's the new flower for today march 3 and yeah so if you remember guys i showed this last time my aporo cactus um video and it was flowering this one together with the red thanksgiving cactus and now the orange one oh, orange one flowering together with that other flower oh so nice it's so pretty this thanksgiving cactus here guys as you can see it's forming flower buds now look at that it's many so it's gonna flower again oh remember last time when it flowered and yeah when we pollinated it last time so this is what it looks like now so it means we're successful because it's forming fruits and that those dead flowers still attach in there and the other bloom for today guys is this desert rose so it's still in bloom as you can see <laughs> that fatty one in there and ta -da! flower buds oh and then, if you remember this, guys, I made a video of my Kalanko Rombopilosa last time. If you haven't watched it yet, I linked there in the down in the description below. When I propagated this one and I showed the flowers when it was new. And then, guys, have you ever seen the flower of this one? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. 
put it down so yeah i put the name there on the screen and yeah, the flower is like that uh, it's been flowering for weeks now it's just like that i don't know because i can't <laughs> so much closer if there's tiny flowers in there but yeah that's it and um there's another one in here the hiding there's so many new leaves look at that guy so many shoots uh, it likes me so much so many new leaves it was so small before when i bought it from tesco and now it's gone thick so yeah guys that's all the lover buds and flowers for today march 3 so hopefully next month we're gonna have many flowers Aww. all right guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like my facebook page purple and thorns follow my instagram purple and thorns and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching guys and i hope you'll have more blooms soon as well bye